Only eight wooden roller coasters in the world can do this. See, just everything about that feels so wrong. Wooden roller coasters are all about speed, airtime, and out of control fun. But inverting? That's still coaster territory. So I have three objectives that I need to find out about this roller coaster. How does this ride safely go upside down? From the track, to the trains, to the crazy looking barrel roll. How does Mind Blower do it? You don't see many wooden roller coasters in Florida. In fact, there's only three. So does that make this coaster any different or harder to maintain? And lastly, why did they choose to build such a complicated roller coaster when they could have just gone with any generic wooden roller coaster? There's several things that make this ride safely go upside down. From the drop, to that drop, right there to the roll itself that's crazy and the fact that this roller coaster is made of steel and wood as a matter of fact if you look at the track that's true wood coaster track i'll play into the way it safely inverts and so we started by climbing to the very top of this roller coaster watch your head in here i'm telling you watch your head you're gonna come in very close quarters with a lot of things that are really gonna hurt your head yeah but like aren't roller coasters designed to have clearances so you don't hit your head uh yeah but not for walking through them typically oh good point <laughs> This is so sick. So the very first thing we're doing is we're climbing the lift hill of the roller coaster. Look at this. Oh my gosh. The craziest part is seeing the lift hill. We're like about halfway up and look at the drop from here. That's insane. Hey, you guys are falling behind. But at this point, being halfway up the lift, I noticed I was the only one up here. Well, me and this guy from Fun Spot. Since it was just the two of us, we got to chat a little bit about his job. How often do you climb this? Uh, as a manager on duty, hardly ever. Never? Hardly ever, only oh. hardy backs. Man, I figured it would be like an every other day thing. No. Do you guys have people who walk this to do maintenance on it? Yeah, every morning. Really, every single morning. And is it just the lift or is it the entire roller coaster? The entire roller coaster. That's wild. But the rest of the group was way behind me. This is Bree and Rachel. Rachel couldn't wait to get up the lift. Same goes for my friend Scott. It feels good up here. This is why I don't live in Chicago anymore. It's probably 20 degrees there right now. Bree, on the other hand, couldn't wait to get down the lift. She wasn't the only one second guessing herself. My own dad was. The idea wasn't to come up here. We are almost up to the top of this. This is insane. On top of everything, it's so windy up here. And that just makes it a little more scary. And so that drop right there is what propels the roller coaster to go through its signature inversion, the signature element of this ride, that beautiful barrel roll. But while I was up here, I couldn't stop looking at the track because in spring of 2023, this coaster went over a big renovation. A company called Rocky Mountain Construction came through and replaced some of the roughest parts of this wooden track with a steel track, or the professional term, 208 retrack. But I couldn't find it up here at the lift. That was until I looked down the drop. You can see right down there where it turns it into 208 retrack. So that was my next stop. That way I could see this 208 retrack right up close and personal. Bree, you didn't make it all the way up. No. What was that all about? Shame, shame. Shame. All right, Scott, I understand what you're talking about now. You can come in very close quarters with a lot of things that are really going to hurt you. Dude, look at how close we are to the track. Can I sit on it? Jeez. I got a few. Like, you're not going to be able to get right up to one, but I think the, the clearest one you're going to be able to see is, is the one at the bottom of the first drop. Yeah. Because it's, uh, What's crazy is being right here um, in the middle of everything. It's insane. And then look at that. It's just wild. Watch your step. Watch the corners. Like, make sure you don't get caught by those. It'll hurt your shade. We're right yeah. under the track. The roller coaster goes out from the station, and we're right under that piece of track. This is like a of chain. It's crazy, man. Yeah, so you can see here actually where the uh, the wood transitions to the steel. You'll see the wood, how they cut it, and then the steel overlaps, so it like, covers it like a sleeve almost, and then it creates a smooth transition.
What's the difference between this steel track and traditional wood track? And does that take away from the fact that this is a wooden coaster? The main difference like they had is uh, built to replicate a wooden coaster stack. Um, this is more sturdy. So that'll add to the longevity of the coaster. Is it the steel that makes the roller coaster go upside down? Or does the steel not play any role in that? Steel plays no role. As a matter of fact, if you look at the track, that's true wood coaster track up in the barrel roll. I think it's great because that way it shows like, yes, this is in fact a wooden inversion. We didn't cheat. After finding out that the steel retract had nothing to do with the barrel roll, I was in disbelief. I needed to go up there and see it for myself. Oh my gosh, this is crazy. <laughs> Bro, you don't even need to duck. Can you really just walk normal? No way. Are you that short? No so way. Ridiculous. I'm almost jealous. Oh, this is sick. Do you think this is sick? This is scary. What? Wow, Scott. That's crazy. See the wig? Somebody lost the wig? Oh, somebody lost a wig on the roof. Oh my gosh. That is hilarious, dude. They snatching wigs out here. They snatching wigs. <laughs> okay. Okay, so how does an inversion like this on a wooden coaster even work? I thought wood coasters were like not allowed to invert. It feels like illegal to see something like this. Yeah, and, um, I mean, just historically, like the structure of wood roller coaster couldn't really maintain an inversion, but uh, you know, they've figured it out. And a lot of it's in the, in the train design. You have to look at things like the upstop wheels and make sure everything's able to support some sort of inversion, some sort of, you know, hang time or like negative G. You know, I don't design these things, so I couldn't tell you exactly what it is. We could probably call somebody who does. <laughs> so it's not even in the track as much as it's in the train design though. Yeah, because I mean, if you if you look at the track, I mean, it's, it's standard wood coaster coming up through this inversion, you know? I mean, that, that, that's all wood track, you know, bent in shape just like they always have. But, uh, you know, from a, from a train standpoint, you know, it just trains it to be built a little bit different. You know, they have to be a little more agile to be able to withstand uh, the bending and flexing that is an inversion, like a barrel roll. But as we were exiting, <laughs> earrings, cell phone. Oh, that's hilarious. I couldn't help but wonder. Obviously, a lot of care and love gets poured into this coaster. With Mind Blower being one of three wooden coasters in Florida and one of eight inverting wooden coasters in the world, are there any special maintenance procedures that separate this from a traditional steel roller coaster? So I went back to a source that I knew would be reliable. So halfway down that drop, transitions. <laughs> awesome. Rachel. What is done to maintain a roller coaster like this? It benefits us that we live in a climate that rains often because the rain actually makes the wood expand, tightening the bolts. So if you go through a spell of dry where there's not much rain, our maintenance team will go through and retighten the bolts to make sure that everything is safe and secure for all of our guests. So the fact that it's wood doesn't actually affect the coaster really any differently than a steel coaster. Yeah, I know there's not much more that goes into it besides our daily checks, regular oiling, regular greasing double checking that all the nuts and bolts are safe and secure. You said daily checks. Does that mean they walk the track every single day? Yeah, so our maintenance team will go through and track walk the entire Mind Blower coaster every day. I'm exhausted from our track walk. That's crazy. And leaving Fun Spot Kissimmee, I was still leaving with my last question unanswered. And I had that question unanswered for a long time until one Friday afternoon, I received a call. Yo, know, I don't design these things, so I couldn't tell you exactly what it is. You could probably call somebody who does. Hello, is this JC? Yes, it is. Awesome. JC, I have one very important question for you. Look, Mind Blower is a phenomenal roller coaster and it definitely has its fans, me being one of them. But in a state with only a handful of wooden coasters, what was the reason towards going with something so unique, not only in Florida, but across the world, as opposed to any traditional wooden roller coaster? Certainly having a wooden coaster was one of them. And then also having a wooden coaster that uh, it has the, you know, an inversion in the first of its kind here. Uh, we felt that was uh, quite a unique attribute to the, the ride experience for our guests. And one of those things that uh, you could build a coaster 
but uh, if you can build a coaster that people want to ride over and over again, then you know you've you've, you've done it the right way, and yeah, that that was our objective. With all the challenges you guys have faced and the investments that you guys have poured into Mindblower, would you say all of it was worth it? Seeing where it is now, I see even brighter days ahead, which is going to require more investment. So you're saying the work is not yes, done? No, no you're, you're not done. I mean, you know. Uh, you can't just set it and forget it. It never, it never stops in this business. You know, because again, you don't want to all of a sudden wake up one day and say, "Oh, well, all this time has passed and we simply seem to have forgotten about it." But you can't. You, you have to stay with it. I'm a big fan of the work you guys do, and especially Mind Blower. I think it's a phenomenal coaster, and I can't wait to see you guys make it even better. Well. Yeah, stay tuned. <laughs> Sweet. <laughs>